Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here and we are doing the hoop transition series. So this is part two of this series. Now, of course, I know that you have already liked and subscribed and done all of that cool stuff that we do so that we can support each other. But if you haven't, wait till the end of this video. <laughs> do it then because I want to share this with you. So the concept, if you didn't watch last week's video, the concept is that hoop transitions are that glue, that gel, those points in between all of these tricks. And sometimes we just brush over them or we don't even recognize their strength and importance. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a different hoop transition or point each week and we're going to ask ourselves the two questions. How do I get to that point? And then where do I go next? And whether you know it or not, you've been asking yourself and your body has been showing you or maybe a teacher's been showing you or a tutorial or someone on Instagram or whatever has been showing you this exact concept. But we are breaking it down because that's what we do so that we can uncover more awesomeness in our hooping. So how do I get to this point? Could be a million different tricks, or maybe just five or six or 100. And then where do I go next? And you are constantly doing that when you are putting together choreos, when you're putting together hoop sequences, when you're just like mucking around with the hoop, we're going to break it down. So this week's point is first position escalator. If you've done my escalator tutorials or we've done or you've done any of my um, courses on learn.hooplovers.tv, you will know that I often land in this point here. So if it's in your right hand, your right wrist is forward, your hand is on top, heel in, feet parallel, toes forward. This is first position for escalators or similar. Left side, exactly the same, heel in, right there. So we're gonna ask ourselves those, those two questions. How do I get to this point? And I would love for you to be doing some body storming. Like what am I doing in my hooping where I'm just like playing around and I end up here? Now, oftentimes we're so quick to get away from these transition points, but for this series, we're taking a little deep dive. We're looking at these positions. So if you want to have a play around, how do I get here? How do I get, where do I go next? I'm going to share with you just one example of how I get here. Last week we did the reverse escalator, so you might want to do that with the hip hop, but I'm going to try to do the arm. I'm going to show you the arm wrap with the hip hop. Just bring in a little bit more goodness. So if it's in your right hand, you're going to wrap back and all the way, all the way, keep going as far as your hoop can go, reach for the sky, push the hoop back a little, comes onto this second, or the, sorry, this opposite side hip, and we do the same action as we did last week, and now we're down in first position. Now, I know I went through that quite quickly, and if you're new to this, I'm going to break it down even more. So we go backwards, and at this point here, your top pointer finger is pointing towards the ceiling. I want you to do a little scoop back. Now, don't worry if it drops on the floor. It's totally fine, and you need to remember always that if you try this and you suck, it doesn't work the first time, it's okay. I've tried it probably a thousand times before I got it. The process, the journey of learning is just as rich as nailing the trick. So sweeping back, do that little point back, watch your head, and then these escalators are a contact move. So if the hoop has nowhere to contact after you scoop back, it's going to fall to the floor. So make sure that your opposite side, whatever arm you do it on, your opposite side knee is up. So this requires balance and this centering. There's a whole bunch going on here. So this hip comes up, the hoop should contact somewhere in the hip crease, and then you're going to bring the knee across, step down to balance yourself, and then grab the hoop on the outside because now we're in this cool first position here. All right, what do we do to get away from here? Well, you probably know a whole bunch of really cool tricks, but we're going to do an isolation where we step in. So we're at this transition point. We're going to step in, so we give ourselves a little bit of space, feet together. We isolate down and barrel roll out. Now you can use your arm again. Last week we talked about the layers or the technique that we put on. Um, you could be very fabulous and strong, superhuman. You could be floaty and flowy. Whatever it is, whatever the energy is that you're bringing in, there may be some darkness. There may be some whatever it is. 
that is your layer. You're allowed to express. So arm wrap, reverse escalator. This is our transition point. We step in and we drive down. So follow the thumb. And I like to keep the hoop so that I, I'm not like all over the place, that I'm keeping the hoop in this isolated position. I like to keep the hoop going around at, at about hip height. So if it's rolling over my hip, I know that it's generally staying in the right spot. Otherwise, I'm kind of doing this, which is not an isolation. An isolation, generally, this circular center isolation is when the hoop is staying at exactly the same height and rotating. And when we do a barrel roll, which is where we turn 360, and we want to keep that hoop in position, my tip is to, if unless it's a lot smaller or a lot bigger, you're gonna find the position on your body where it rolls or smooths over, and for me it's my hip, so that you can keep it in position. And then your elbow and your wrist are going to bend accordingly. All right, so one more time, arm wrap back, hip pops over, first position, step in, give yourself some space, and then the hoop is going to roll on your hip as you turn around. And now, oh wow, we're in another hoop transition, which was last week's position. And from here, we went into folding isolations. But you can do a little body storm. This is your homework. Where do I go to next? Okay, so remember, it's a global hoop jam in the comments down below. If you come up with other tricks that get you to here, and more tricks that get you away from here, let us know down below so that we can all try them out. Global Hoop Jam is how we're doing it in 2020. <laughs> I look forward to your comments. And if you do leave me some tricks on how you get to this position and how you get away from it, um, then I'm gonna try them out for myself. And we're all gonna have some new hoop flow sequences with these really essential hoop transitions in between. All right, I've completely forgotten what I need to remind you about. It's just that move groove, play with these transitions, and I'm going to see you next week for another hoop transition. How do we get there? Where do we go next? Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.